Steve. It's another episode of the Steel Target Paint Podcast. And today is a very special day in the hearts of rimfire shooters. Do you know why? Absolutely, Jeff. It is 1022 day. Well, you know, with it being 1022, uh, we've reached out and got a special guest on the line that we think is very fitting for this day. Can you guess who that is, Steve? Jeff, I've got the inside track. I know exactly who it is. We have Brian with Tandem Cross with us. Welcome, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, guys. How you doing? Thanks for having me on the show. Well, we appreciate you being on the show. Uh, let's get right to it. Unless our listeners have been living in a cave, uh, if you've got Facebook and uh, you've liked the Tandem Cross Facebook page, and if you haven't liked the Tandem Cross Facebook page, you need to, there was a hint thrown out a couple of months ago about a uh, a, a pairing of, of two companies with Tandem Cross and Brimstone. If I believe it was, was it a salt and pepper shaker? Was that the, the meme I saw? There was salt and pepper shaker. There was peanut butter and jelly. Uh, we definitely wanted to drive some buzz with those memes and give people uh, a good feeling that uh, we were incorporating with another fast-growing company in the industry that was well-known for quality and excellence. Well, it's 1022. It's Rimfire Day. We've got Tan Macross on the line. Brian, tell us what you got. Well, I'm here to make the first initial public announcement that we are launching as of today what we call the ultimate trigger kit for the Ruger 1022. This has been in corporation for about six months between Tandem Cross and Brimstone. Uh, they are well known for their trigger jobs over the past few years. Um, they've done roughly about 10,000 trigger jobs, so I'd say eh, they know what they're doing. Um, they brought to market an incredible sear and hammer combo that is unlike you've ever seen, a very proprietary design um, that with the way that they engage. And ever since we first uh, launched our very first victory trigger, the first question was, hey, can you make one of those for 1022? So um, we worked together. We made the shoe. They made the tear and hammer. And these things are beautiful. So excited about this launch to bring our, our well-known uh, textured style shoe along together with this specialized tear and hammer and uh, launching it here on 1022 day. Well, that's fantastic. So, you know, you talk about Brimstone having done over 10,000 trigger jobs, but that's people sending them in. Is this really going to be a drop-in, or is this, you do have to take your, your trigger out and maybe release a couple pins? Uh, explain us how it's going to work for the consumers. Yeah, you're exactly right. So it's not a drop-in kit. So one of the things that we pride ourselves at Tandem Cross is taking people's stock guns. Not everybody can afford those really high-end uh, race rifles or high-end kits. So we've tried to make this a very affordable kit, um, low dollar price, where there might uh, you don't have necessarily a whole drop in housing, but with a couple of pins, and we're shipping with a slave pin to make it really easy, um, you can take it out, uh, your old trigger shoe, your old tear and hammer, and pop these guys in. Um, and we've also repositioned the trigger return spring on it so that there's a very lightly felt recoil, something that no 1022 company has done in the past. Um, and we've got some really good results with it. Well, that's fantastic. So there are a lot of rimfire guns out on the market. Is this kit only going to work with a Ruger 1022 trigger? That's exactly right. We're targeting the standard um, factory trigger. It will also be compatible with BX, but you'll need a, a standard disconnector for it. Um, which we'll have available at tandemcross.com as well. But we're, we're targeting the standard 1022 owner who wants to, they can only afford that $300, uh, $200 1022 to begin with, and they can take it to the next level for a very low dollar price. Well, that's fantastic. So you're talking low dollar price. What is that price point going to be? $135. So $134.99. Wow. For a trigger kit, to bring this up to, I'm guessing, a very competition-ready trigger. Um, is it going to change your trigger pull? Absolutely. We're targeting somewhere to just above and just below two pounds is what we're seeing in our beta testing and our in-house testing as well. Super crisp. That's fantastic. Well, you know, here on the Steel Target Paint podcast, we like to do special things. We've given away a Hunter's HD Gold Tumbler. Uh, we've got... The 
steel target paint uh, promo code. Brian, you're going to step up and do something for our listeners. Yeah, absolutely. If you go to the steel target paint Facebook page and you go ahead and uh, the first person to put ultimate trigger on their on their Facebook page, uh, we'll send out a free kit out to um, whoever does that first. Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Hey, Jeff, just so you know, you are not eligible. I repeat, you are not eligible. <laughs> Brian, I can smell the smoke from here. <laughs> One other question about this trigger. Is there any sort of adjustment as we've seen with other tandem cross triggers? Meaning, can I take, up, uh, take out a little bit of the take up or the reset? Or is it uh, kind of just plug and play? Yeah, you're going to find that there's virtually little to no pre-travel already built into the trigger, so there's be no need for adjusting that. But, of course, we'll always uh, put in an adjustment for over-travel on the trigger, too. Boy, that's, uh, that's going to be sweet. You're right, Steve. Uh, I may have to go out and get a 1022 just to get this kit. And, and Brian, is this going to work with the new Ruger uh, competition guns that are out there? Is it going to is is a, is a kit going to work with those triggers? It certainly will. All you'll need is a standard 1022 disconnector to get it work, working in those. They come with a BX trigger, um, but this blows the BX trigger away. So you, if you get a standard uh, disconnector trigger, sear, hammer, you're going to get the advantage of the ultimate trigger kit. Fantastic. Brian, is there any sort of housing that it doesn't work with? I know back in the day, Ruger had a some sort of aluminum or metal housing and the newer BX ones are, are plastic. Do they work in all, all the housings, do you know? Yeah, they'll work in all the housings. The housing is not a challenge. Jeff, I don't know where you can go and buy, you know, if you if you have a stock 1022 or you got a 1022 uh, Ruger housing for 135 bucks, man, that's a no-brainer. I'm looking forward to it. Well, not only that, yeah. but you're also talking about being able to do it yourself. You know, Tandem Cross does pride themselves, and Brian said it, on the shooter being able to make the changes. I mean, I've, yeah, you, I, had, I had a victory. I put my victory trigger in. I've, I've put uh, that in both a, a, a Smith & Wesson victory and a Ruger. I've put in their parts, internal parts, uh, sear and hammer for the pistols, and now they've got the rifles. I mean, you're talking about, you know, people who uh, are on a budget uh, now actually having competition-ready guns uh, for quite a small price yeah you know one of the nice things about buying from tandem cross is that we're always willing to help the customer get across the finish line and make the customer experience easy and smart um, these are this is not um, a big challenge to installing your 1022 most people who are familiar with the gun will be able to pop this in and out really quickly if for some reason you don't feel comfortable you don't have that knowledge um, as always we will have a fully detailed video done by Bill Curtis on our YouTube channel to walk you step by step and give you the confidence to be able to do the install. Um, we will always be able to provide paper instructions or PDF instructions from our website. Um, when you check out from tandemcross.com, there's a checkbox that says, uh, I would like printed instructions and we'll send them out, but they're always listed on our website. And last but not least, we have technicians standing by for somebody who gets stuck and needs some help to get over the hurdle. Um, they can call up and talk to our tech support team and, we, and we'll walk them right over the phone. Well, that's great. You know, um, both Steve and I feel fortunate to be sponsored shooters by Tandem Cross, and you see it all the time, and, and you talk about the integrity of a company. I don't know how many times, and it's been a few, you see on Facebook where someone has had a problem with the original Game Changer compensator, and there might have been a round that clipped the end of it, and every response from every Tandem Cross person has been then unquestionably send it in, we'll replace it. It was never, well, you may have done it wrong, or there could be lead buildup, or there was never an excuse. It was send it in, we'll fix it. And uh, I think the, uh, the industry really uh, appreciates you standing behind your products like that. No questions asked. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, thanks, Jeff. One of the things that we firmly believe in at Tandem Cross is karma. Um, and I don't believe in it from a mystical standpoint that it's magic or anything like that, it's that if you do good, you'll get good. Why? Because um, you're walking around with a more positive attitude. It shines, and people pick up on those things like that subconsciously. And if you make them happy, 
still have a positive attitude. And that type of stuff is contagious. Um, and so goodwill always comes and circles back uh, upon you. Let me tell you just a little quick story on how I first uh, linked up with Tandem Cross. I just started this competitive journey, I don't know, just about two and a half years ago. And I was shooting, I think it was the 2016 Alabama State match. And I got on this squad, and there was just a, I felt like an in, intruder. There was a bunch of green jerseys, and some guy named <laughs> Kane Wolf, he, he, he intimidated me a little bit. I met Billy Stripling and his daughter and, and Matthew and a couple others. And I was like, man, I'm getting outgunned here. And, uh, you know, fast forward to the 2000, they, they were fantastic, fantastic people. I was like, man. I did pick the right sport to get into, and then fast forward a, a few months to the 2016 NSSF World Shoot, I was having an issue with some extraction with my uh, my Ruger 2245 light, and, uh, you know, I met Brian at the time, and he was very knowledgeable, extremely pleasant, and then I said, hey, man, I got, I got an issue with my gun, you know, could you help out, and I saw this guy working frantically, sweat rolling down his head, and and then, uh, and then Brian's like, man, you need to talk to my man Jake there. And then uh, I said, hey, Jake, uh, my name's Steve Foster, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't even look at me. And uh, I said, uh, I got a gun issue. And he stopped what he was doing. He was like, hey, man, what's going on? What can I help you out with? And and within, I think it was like five minutes, he, uh, he, he took care, diagnosed my gun issue, took care of it. And then uh, I, I was out competing again. But. You know, it's all these major matches I've seen, you know, the Northwest Championship, the NSSF World Match. Um, there's been a couple others that it's cool to see a company uh, like Tandem Cross out there just, you know, because I tried to pay Jake for the extractor and, and for his time, he's like, no, keep your money. That's what we're here for. And I was like, who are these people, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's great to have a company like that to uh, – to help out some of our shooters and just the knowledge base, you know, uh, it's, it's, you know, after I got done with that, I think it was Brian that asked me, he said, Hey, uh, you know, is there any rimfire, uh, you know, parts or this or that, that you don't see here on the table that you would like to see? And I sat there and thought about it. You know what I told him, Jeff? What's that? I said, Hey, do you guys make a, a 10 22 trigger? So that was that was just about <laughs> two years ago to the day. So uh, really, really cool to to see you guys partnered up because I know David out at at Brimstone Gunsmithing. He's a he's a great guy and he's helped me out as well. So it's really exciting to see these two companies come together to offer such a quality product. Yeah, you know it's funny um, when we decided that we wanted to get into the competitive space. We sat around uh, at the time it was my living room and said, you know, what are we going to do to support these matches? What are we going to do different? You know, we're a small company. We are just a budding brand in the marketplace. How do we stand out? And we all agreed that we had to do more than just put things on the prize table. We had to go out and we had to meet the people and we had to promote some goodwill, again, to do some good, to get some good. And so going out to those matches, we don't just want to be like everybody else. We really strive to be different, to do more, to raise the bar, to push uh, all the barriers beyond where they are. And, um, you know, I would have to say it, it's really nice to hear that that goodwill is, um, you know, noticed and it certainly is resonating in the marketplace and we're, we feel lucky to be able to even have the opportunity to, to go out there and do that um, and meet the people and find out what challenges they're having, what parts of it they want to have. And then just the satisfaction of somebody who traveled to a match, they maybe spent a thousand, two thousand dollars getting there, have their gun breakdown. Maybe at first they're a little deflated, but when they find out there's someone there who can help them with their problem, they get back in there and get back up and running. That really makes our day. That's awesome. You know, I'm looking at the website and most everybody that listens to this podcast is going to know you because of your involvement in the Rimfire Sports. Uh, major sponsor at Rimfire Worlds. We got to meet at the uh, 2017 uh, Steel Nationals. Great story about that, Steve. We won't go into it, but it, it deals with licking the victory trigger. Or, excuse me, the hive grips. <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> Um, Jeff, I, I, told, I, I, Jeff I told you early on that this is a G-Rex <laughs> show. All right, carry on. 
But I'm looking at the website. You've got over 12 different guns that you guys support, even up to 12-gauge shotguns and, and Mosin Nagants that you're building stuff for. Not any one specific product, but for a company that started a couple of years ago, as you pointed out, in your living room. Do you know how many products just products you're shipping a week? Just the number of items that you're shipping out helping shooters every week. Well, I don't have an exact number off the top of my head, but let me tell you, um, the Ware, New Hampshire Ware Post Office absolutely loves us and hates us at the same time every time they come to pick up stuff. You can see them roll their eyes and like, where am I going to fit this? Because they use their regular cars to pick up mail. They're not used to the amount of volume that we've brought to this little town. Well, that's fantastic. Well, again, I know that, uh, like I said, Steve and I appreciate your support. And I'm sure every shooter that's ever gone to your website, got help, stopped by a booth at a match, or called you guys, appreciate you too. And we thank you for being on the podcast. Uh, it's really great, and I want to throw it right back at you guys. You know, you've taken your time. You're not really, you're not getting paid for this podcast. You put it together to create some entertainment, some knowledge sharing, some tips and tricks to help the community. And that's one of the things I really love about this industry. Everybody pulls their their rope. Everybody does something to help the industry grow. And uh, uh, it's it's great that you guys are doing that. Thanks for having me on the show, and wish you guys all the best with this this venture. Hey, Brian, I've got one quick question, and whether it makes it on this podcast or another, if I could steal yeah. just a couple minutes of your time, because you sure. do a, a great job supporting the youth in the sport, and you sponsor quite a few shooters, and and I run the Steel Target Paint shooting team, and I get that question all the time, you know, how do I become a sponsored shooter, and what do sponsors look for? Could I ask you to, to help answer that question on what do you look for when you're sponsoring a shooter, and what are your expectations once you do sponsor a shooter? Yeah, absolutely. The very first thing that I notice personally and what I look for to bring someone onto our team is, um, is this person doing more than just shooting? Are they promoting goodwill? Do they have a good attitude? If someone's gun goes down, are they the first one to say, hey, do you want to borrow mine? We look for somebody who has that positive, upbeat attitude. You can't buy that today. You can't just throw money at somebody and say, hey, be a good personality. That comes naturally. Um, and so that's the very first thing we look for. You know, um, that's that's key. The other other things that we look for is, uh, in a sponsor shooter, are they are they gonna? What kind of what other types of value can they bring? Are they gonna help us logistically? Are they active on social media and um, you know uh, uh, participate a lot in the different communities that are available? Um, do they shoot a lot? How many matches a year do they shoot? How much exposure uh, do they get out there? Um, and of course, you know, talent is important. We we definitely want uh, people who have the ability to achieve. You don't have to be the best shooter in the world. You don't have to win every league. But do you know how to play the game? That's also very important. But I honestly, that's one of the things, that's one of the least things we look at. Number one, positive attitude, goodwill. Thank you for sharing that with us. And, you know, Jeff and I were talking a little bit ago, and I just said, hey, you know, Jeff, if you want to get a sponsorship, you got to do what my good friend Mike Baker did and get a chance to have a forearm, and then you're, then you're golden. <laughs> oh, I left out that part. If you get a tattoo of TK, it's pretty much automatic sponsorship. <laughs> well, the thing about Mr. Mike Baker, and he's a good friend of all ours, he was the TK super fan before he got that tattoo. He, he was. Um, he just, you know, it's funny. He, he definitely worked his way into our heart. He was a, a good customer. Started out that way. I noticed that he was commenting on a lot of our posts, and um, without any kind of um, interaction with us was, promoting our, our product and our brand a lot. It was it was very flattering. Um, and then one day he came down to visit a match uh, down in Georgia. It was a steel national match out there. And uh, I was just so happy to see him. And I felt like he took such good care of us. I wanted to make sure that when he got there that we took good care of him. So it took a lot of extra time to go around and uh, introduce him to all our Team Tan Cross shooters there. Um, and then other top shooters in the, you know, in the industry, 
um, took him through a tour with uh, our different products, and we did a photo shoot with him holding uh, some, some tin of my stuff. And uh, apparently from his side, he walked away feeling really good about that. Next thing you know, he had a tattoo and, a, and his own jersey <laughs> on the way uh, and stickers. The handout that say TK Superfan, and you know that positive energy, that love, that passion, it really did win us over. So when we looked at our team last year, we said, "Who's out there that really, really promotes that good, that goodwill?" And Mike's name came up first on the list. We knew we had to do something with him, um, so we brought him right onto the team. I mean, I was lucky yeah. enough to meet Mike, and uh, I was at a match. But Mike's a good kidder, so Mike and I have a love-hate relationship. We love to hate each other, uh, and I'm kidding. Um, and we all like Elsie better anyways, Mike, so there. <laughs> yeah, Steve, uh, Mike and I were shooting on the same squad, and he had a really nice chamber flag, and it said TK Superfan on it. I went, Mike, that's really nice. He goes, you like that, huh? I said, yeah, and he tossed it to him, and he goes, here, it's yours. I mean, that's wow. the kind of guy he is. Um, it di- wasn't expensive. It didn't. You know, it, it didn't mean anything to him, but it meant a lot to me. And every time I unsheath my rimfire rifle and pull that out, I think of Mike, and, and I really appreciate it. So thanks, Mike. I, I really do appreciate that. All right. Well, Brian, we really appreciate you coming on, uh, dropping the news about the new trigger and, and doing it on our podcast. Is there any super double secret things you could allude to coming in the future? There are definitely some really cool things that were – uh, coming down the line, it's funny because um, we were just talking about today, we've, we've kind of had a stall of product releases, not because we're not working, it's that we're working a lot of things all at once. Uh, it's what we call ABCing. Um, we're doing all of A, all of B, all of C at once, and we, we equate it to a coin pusher. Um, so look for our newsletters. Um, the best way to get uh, updates about that stuff is to join our newsletter right on tandemcross.com. And what are announced, but I'll say we got some cool things coming for the victory. We got some cool things coming for the Mark IV. I'm so excited what we got coming for the Mark IV. Can't wait for those products to launch. Um, and you might even see some things coming for some other platforms that you, you are not quite well known for, um, but it's going to blow you away. Fantastic! Everybody, get that signed up for that newsletter. Get on the podcast or the uh, Facebook page and. Uh, Make sure you're following and staying up on top of what's going on. Thanks again, Brian. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a, have a great day, and thanks for having me on again. It was wonderful.